What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about data collection. Now, data collection is an extremely part of getting data. In fact, I was on a data collection team for over three years. I absolutely love data collection, and so I'm really excited to talk about this topic. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump onto my screen and take a look. Well, let's take a look at data collection. Now, what exactly is data collection, just as a definition? Data collection is the process of gathering data from different data sources to use in analysis, decision-making, and problem-solving. A data source means where the data is actually being created, and data is created all around us. It could be in a hospital EHR system, it could be in your bank account, it could be through APIs, it could be through a website, or it could be in a CSV file. So why is data collection important? And what I really should say is, why is it really important? One, it ensures that you have raw material or the raw data needed to make informed decisions. You can then use that data to identify trends, patterns, and opportunities within that data. And it also lays the foundation for data quality. This is something that we're going to cover actually in our next lesson when we look at data cleaning. So if you collect data poorly, or if you do not process that data correctly, that can lead to bad data, which can give you incorrect results. And then of course, you're going to make bad decisions with bad data. Now data collection does not just happen. It doesn't just magically appear. This is a very calculated and specific process that needs to happen in order for you to get that data. Let's take just a really quick example. You are actually running an online shop. You have a website, you're selling stuff on the right. You're selling t-shirts and jackets and other clothes, I'm assuming. Now you want to track how many customers actually put something into their cart. You might be able to compare how many customers put something into their cart versus how many customers actually bought something. And that could be useful information to you. But that data just doesn't appear. A data collection system is set up to collect that data and place it into something like a database that can be analyzed and used. Now these data collection systems can be something that you manually create, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, or it could be something that you just pay for. So it could be a system that you say, hey, I want you to collect this data. They go and do it for you, and you don't have to actually do the work, but there is a data collection system in place. Now, whether it's you or some system you paid for, all this data is gonna be processed via a data pipeline. Now this is a system that's gonna automate the movement of data from one place to another, while often transforming it along the way. Let's take a look at this ETL pipeline. ETL stands for extract, transform, and load. And you can see that uh, through this process. So on the left-hand side, we have all these different data sources. It could be different parts of your website, or it could be different websites, or it could be different locations of the data entirely. We're gonna extract that raw data and we're gonna put it into a staging area. This staging area is kind of like a temporary hold for your data, where then you can work with data professionals like data engineers, database developers, data analysts, data scientists, who can then determine how we want to transform that data. Now, transforming data is something we'll cover again in the next lesson when we talk about data cleaning, but transforming the data makes that raw data more usable for whatever you're trying to use it for. After we transform that data, we're gonna load that data into something like a data warehouse, a database, maybe it could even be an Excel file. It could be as simple as that. But then from there, we can use that to analyze our data. And that's really what data collection is in a nutshell. Now, I worked on a data collection team for many years, and I was a data analyst, and I would often work at every single step of this process. I would have to go and talk to the client and see exactly what data they had available. And sometimes they didn't even have data available. And so they said, hey, we want to collect this new type of data. So as part of my job is I would help them understand how to start collecting that data. So then we could create these data pipelines to then transfer it into a database to use. Data collection is not a one-time thing either. Data collection is always happening. These ETL pipelines, they break or they need new ones or the source data changed on the left-hand side of this diagram. The source data changed from one part of the website to another. And so you need to go back and you need to fix that data pipeline to correctly collect all the data that you're wanting. And so this is a very active process. This typically doesn't just happen one time and then it's done. It typically happens one time, and then you adapt it and you keep changing or maybe fixing it over time. That is data collection in a nutshell. And so if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.